How are we doing everyone? So, Francis Ngannou is back again December 23rd. Listen, I know you're thinking, my God, Bisping, you're rinsing this Francis content, but it's a big story and it's big news. As we know, Francis Ngannou just shocked the world, had an incredible performance against Tyson Fury. So, rematch with Tyson Fury, that's what a lot of people want to see, but of course, he will be fighting Alexander Usyk sometime next year, not December 23rd, as was contractually agreed upon, but December 23rd, back in Riyadh, the middle of Riyadh season and back in Saudi Arabia, looks like the predator, Francis Ngannou, 1-0 in boxing, will be coming back. The, uh, the Saudis want to continue putting on massive events, and who bigger, literally, than Francis Ngannou. Uh, so he's going to be back. That's all the rumours right now. That's what's circulating. Francis Ngannou is going to box again December 23rd. And it makes sense. It really does make sense. They want to put on a big fight. Francis Ngannou really is the talk of the town right now. What he did was incredible. So putting him back in there with another boxer, incredible. So who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? Well, there's a lot of rumours, a lot of offers. Eddie Hearn, the manager and promoter of Anthony Joshua, he said that he wants to do that fight. Now, you never know, maybe it will be Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua. And if the Francis against Tyson shows up, then I'll tell you what, I think he'll do more than fine. Hold on, we've got some people coming past me, so I feel like an absolute idiot. Um, so, yeah, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. Sign me up, take my money. But... Will that be the one? I really don't know. I don't know if that's the one that makes sense. I don't know if Anthony Joshua wants to take that fight. I feel somebody like Anthony Joshua is gonna to wanna to take another look at him first, just to kind of get a sense of where he's at. You know, was it beginner's luck for Francis Ngannou? Was Tyson Fury off? Was he sick? Was it a shitty performance? Did he take him lightly? I think Joshua would want and, and again, what do I know? This is just spitballing off the top of my head. I think he'd probably want to take another, see Francis take another fight so he can watch him, he can assess him, he can get a, you know, an impression of his timing and his rhythm and the combinations that he likes to throw. Obviously, he's got massive power. Obviously, he's a novice. Obviously, he can go 10 rounds and clearly the man has a chin because he did take some good shots of uh, Tyson Fury. So, Anthony Joshua, maybe, sign me up, take my money. But who else could it be? Well, Recently, I partnered with a company called Legacy Precious Metals. Now, I know a lot of people are going through tough times right now, but if you are fortunate enough to where you have a few dollars left over every month to think about investing, then maybe investing in gold and silver through Legacy Precious Metals might be for you. Now, the stock market, if you follow that stuff, it's all over the place. In fact, it's plummeting right now. But precious metals, they've always held their value or even increased. So, of course, that's something that we're all interested in. Doesn't have to be a lot of money. It can just be a little bit because it all adds up over time. Now, if you click the link, there is a guide there. It'll tell you all about investing in gold and silver, or you can give them a call and they will answer all of your questions at 866-933-0317. Well, who else could it be? Well, Joseph Parker, New Zealand's heavyweight boxer. He was on that event. He won by knockout. So there's one possibility. Deontay Wilder, I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to see that? The rumours of Deontay Wilder and Francis Ngannou in mixed martial arts because apparently Wilder's training MMA. Come on, man, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen and not anytime soon. So who else is there? Zhe Li Zhang, China's heavyweight. Daniel Dubois, another heavyweight coming from England. So, so maybe Daniel Dubois. But the one is that I think most people would want to see and that would do the highest numbers would be, of course, Anthony Joshua, AJ. Now, Eddie Hearn said that he would stop Francis Ngannou within six rounds, okay? But that's exactly what Tyson Fury said. So, December 23rd, looks like Francis Ngannou is going to be back. Not in the PFL, not in mixed martial arts, which is what everyone was hoping for. And it's kind of what Francis said. But listen, money talks, bullshit runs the marathon. Kind of like these people. <laughs> I'm just in the middle of a run, thought I'd stop and do a little walk and talk. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Down here in Sao Paulo, called in the Derek Lewis fight this weekend. Uh, Derek Lewis versus Yael Ton Almeida. Great fight, that is. Hold on a minute, we've got bloody music playing in the background. Better not get demonetized for the... Brazilian 
jingles. Hold on a minute, we've got someone behind us as well. He's probably like, Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm being filmed this whole time. Anyway, so Francis Ngannou, uh, who do you think he should fight? Biggest spectacle would be, of course, Anthony Joshua. It ain't gonna be Tyson Fury. That rematch has to happen down the line. Like Tyson Fury has to try and kind of get his respect back in the boxing world, in the boxing community. You know, I mean, he just essentially lost to an absolute novice. So Francis Ngannou comes back December 23rd, and that's about it. Now, as I said, I'm on a run. I got to get back to it. Stop for a little break. Done about two and a half miles. Got about another two back to the hotel. We see here, Sao Paulo. I'm in a park here. Everyone's having a little run. So that's nice. Wherever you are in the world, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll be talking about Derek Lewis soon because. Derek Lewis is the main event this weekend, as I said. Got pulled over for speeding in a Lamborghini, doing 136 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone. Now that is reckless, but I don't know what's more reckless. Speeding, going that fast, or Derek Lewis in a Lamborghini? I mean, that is something I want to see. How the fuck does Derek Lewis fit inside a Lamborghini? Anyway, there it is. There's the video for the day. You guys take care, as I said, subscribe, ring the bell and let me know you th what you think of Francis returning and what you think, uh, who you think the opponent will be. And do we think that Francis Ngannou will ever fight mixed martial arts again? Because the reality is if he goes out there and has a good performance, I get somebody like an Anthony Joshua, a Derek Chisora, a Jay Li Zhang, a Joseph Parker, it doesn't matter. They're all top heavyweights. If he goes out there and has another good performance, I don't think we're going to see Francis Ngannou fighting mixed martial arts again. I mean, think about it like this. Um, mixed martial arts is a lot harder than boxing in terms of technical acumen, right? And Francis Ngannou mainly fights in MMA with his hands. You know, remember he lost to Stipe Miocic because he got tired and got out wrestled. In the rematches, his wrestling was way better and he used that wrestling to good effect against Cyril Garn. But in mixed martial arts, he's got to continue learning how to wrestle. He's got to learn jiu-jitsu. He's got to work on knees, elbows, the clinch, taking people down, you name it, we know the drill. Boxing, it's just hands. And that's his most dangerous weapon. And that is why they call him the Predator. So anyway, there's a few thoughts for you. Better get back to my run. Wherever you are in the world, have a great day. Subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you soon. How are we doing, everybody? Now, the time has come. Michael Bisping's YouTube channel. Yes, I just spoke about myself in the third person. The Michael Bisping YouTube channel, your favorite YouTube channel, is now offering memberships. Now, listen, I'll still be doing the same things that I've been doing every single day for the last six months, providing daily content. But with a member, you can now enjoy exclusive content, and you can also enjoy exclusive live chats. And I just want to point out that the memberships, that is just for extras if you want to join. Now, there's three different levels of memberships and each with its different perks. First of all, there's the contender level. That will give you exclusive Bisping badges next to your name in the comment sections and live chats. Next up, we have champion level. Everything that contender gets plus exclusive live chats and exclusive videos. And then, of course, we got the Hall of Famer level. Everything that the contenders and the champions get, plus super exclusive Hall of Fame only live streams, a commercial free experience, and personal shout outs in videos. Listen, we've got some massive plans for this channel and we would love your support. So please click the membership tab or click the link in the comment section down below.